First, there was the Philly shell, which is the outer parameters of this style that we're going to talk about, which is basically the insight of the rolling shoulder. And I'm going to take it back to the days of old, which is where the rawest form of boxing culminated back when you had Jersey Joe Walcott, who would literally throw shots instead of moving his feet, simply rotate his body and be out of the way. And they had to figure out what exactly is this guy doing? But what it was, was he wasn't just moving his feet, turning his waist, but he was actually rolling his shoulders. And what that did was it gave the illusion as if he was still in place. So the guy he was in the ring against would think he's right there, I'm gonna knock him out. And what he'd do is just slightly rotate the shoulder and come back with a counter punch. The late great Ezra Charles had an opportunity to experience this in the ring against one of the greater fighters who ever laced him up and had one of the most unique and prolific styles in the rolling shoulder which later was developed further and further along. You had those like Archie Moore, who not only created the rolling version of the shoulder out of the shell, but also in his peekaboo turtle shell style. And before we get started, I'd like to introduce myself. For those of you who never watched this channel, shame on you. And boy, you are late to the dance. My name is Eric A. Bradley, AKA, we break the fight world down here, round by round, and no further ado, it's time to box. So what we're gonna do is kinda give you an insight and break down the layers of the Philly shell, the rolling shoulder, Starting off with how to use this in a counterpunch system. How to increase the dexterity of your body so you can roll shots without them breaking you down like most people who do not understand how important it is to build up the dexterity of the body. Then we're gonna make sure that you know exactly how you use this style without all of the attributes like quickness and speed the rolling shoulder is about timing you don't have to be floyd mayweather just like you don't have to be mike tyson when you use the peekaboo it's all about how you use it not everyone's born with the physical accolades as a mike tyson as a floyd mayweather as the manny pacquiao's those people who have those unique abilities. So we're gonna get right into it. With no further ado, it's time to show you how you walk into the Philly shell. Part one, check it out. Let's see what you think. I explain to the guys, the key to the rolling shoulder is mastering the phases of the defense. The first phase is knowing how to stop the jab with mastering the rolling shoulder. So you'll see my guys, they're gonna catch, catch the jab, catch the jab, catch the jab. And when you're catching the jab, don't reach your hand out there. Turn here, here, because a guy can faint, faint the jab and throw the hook. And if your hand's out here, you get caught with that hook, that's not a good thing. So remember, mastering the science of the rolling shoulder is about staying intact, staying in position, catch it. So we're going to show you a segment of how to catch the jab out of the Philly shell stance, which is the box. That takes my jab away. Good thing. The rolling shoulder, the Philly shell. We call it down here in the sticks, we 
call it getting in the box. How do you get in the box? The box has four corners. So it's inevitable that you box yourself in, box all punches out. What I do is we create a ring, which is a ring where you have no room to leave, no room to run. Your objective from that point is to master the science of your defense. Dress yourself down in the box. Remember, we don't call it Philly Shell or Rolling Shoulder. We call it the box. I hope you enjoyed that little clip. And those are just little insights of how you actually develop the body because a lot of people come into the gym, they walk through those doors and they think, I'm, I'm just going to be able to do this. And it takes so much more. We've had many of you buy our downloads. The digital downloads show you what we go through and it teaches you the insight and the inside. And we can't do that when we do these little short posts on Instagram and Facebook. You can only get just a snippet, but it's so much more. So I want to show you how we actually do some of the training techniques to get off the rope. So take a look at this one. And if you have questions, make sure you drop it down in the comment boxes. That's what we're here for. Let's see what it looks like. Whenever you're against the ropes and you have to get yourself out of that situation, run this drill with your fighters. And fighters, listen to your coaches or consistently use this drill. We're going to get the blocks. So we're going to block here, 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 and here. Left to right. Up. Elbow is going to stop that. Ain't nothing get there. So why you blow? Ready? Bing, 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 bing. Bend your knees. Pop, pop. Still bending the look. Good. Pop, pop, pop. That's not a perfect example of your objective. Is bing, 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 bing. And when you drop, Everything comes with it. Pop. Your shoulder goes up, pop, because you can faint and come right here. So remember that. Walk through the drill slow. Wherever he is, throw that right hand. Ready? And. That's how you handle a fighter whenever he's pressing you on the ropes and you're in the shell. You use it and turn his offense against him, and then you counter him with your offense behind that box now after a long duration of time guys start to develop and they realize where they were when they get into the gym so i hope you enjoyed that little segment but as we have learned over the years while we were developing the athletes they understood their growth right because when you fight you don't know how good you've gotten when you're sparring against the same guys and some days you have a good day some days you have a bad day but when you start to really measure that guys that you have not been in the ring with who are not doing the same drills as you they cannot land so let's see what it uh what the guys thought about their development and how, what they noticed it's, it's nothing better to do than to hear it from the horse's mouth let's hear it my experience with the philly shell uh, i like it I feel like it adds another element to my defense. I'm excited to see where it takes my game. So I thought it was awesome. Uh, my defense confidence improved, and I learned different angles and how to block, uh, and also how to counter too. Cool. My experience with the Philly Shell is comfort as far as draw the line and stay there, mm -hmm. and sizing up the opponent. That's my experience. That's what I like about it. Cool. I feel comfortable. My defense got way better. And I also can counter. That's my experience with the field shell. And I know how to get away from the right hand. My name is Robert Reed, but in the boxing gym, I go by Zion. You see, the guys understand what it's not only done for them, but the things and the weapons that it's given them. There is clear to them to, that they understand the difference when they're in the ring and punches are coming. So let's show you here how to actually use it. So we'll do this little quick segment. And like I said, leave your comment and let us know exactly what issues are you having in the gym. And that's what we're here to do fix and solve. Let's see what it looks like. 
that takes my jab away. Here, ricochets, knees, make sure they're all here. The left hook, bam. Hours and hours. Let's take care of the body. Here, good defense. Good round, take it this Five layers of defense. It also gives you options whenever you're in that paint. You have to become a master of that box, aka the rolling shoulder. Philly shit. Now it's obvious that it's not easy to do that, but with enough drills and enough uh, constant muscle memory development, you'll you'll improve. Now. As I told you at the beginning, you're going to get to see some simulation stuff. So what we do is take what we did on the floor and take it into the ring. And this process has been known to be very successful. Me coming from a lineage of boxing that has taught me firsthand how important it is to ingrain the muscle memory into your fighters. So let's see what it looks like as we simulate these drills in the ring. Now remember, this goes into tier two of sparring, so it's not really oh, going hard and blowing your head. This is about muscle memory development and how you count it. Let's take a quick segment look at this and see what it looks like. Now that's what it looks like when you're going through all the cycles. Now we're going to do a simulation round where our, our fighters are just going to pretty much throw the same punches, but they're going to use their footwork at the same time. So they might be countering one time, they might double the counter cycle. But your objective is to get it into your natural algorithm and your muscle memory. Repetition is king. Let's get this last round of simulation spar. It gets so sweet when you're watching this and you start to see the development of an athlete. But one thing I will say is there's nothing more effective than when you have a strategy going into your sparring or a competition, no matter whether it's your first fight or it's if your 30th fight or you're turning pro. Knowing how to do this is very advantageous to you as an athlete, trainer, or coach, or enthusiast who's just working with people who are in the boxing gym so what we're going to do is show you what it looks like to attack the body inside of the philly shell style this technique is uber important for you to take with you and become a master we show you all of these different lanes and you know you see why greats like james tony and those who have not really given the credit been given the credit for being great like the Grazianos of the world that's Rocky Graziano and Tony Zell who was very influential to the Mike Tysons of the world on how they work the body and head so let's see what it looks like the body attack drill you want to have a pugilistic offense and a pugilistic body attack so, just say for instance, I have to transition. He throws a shot to the body, bam, he throws another shot to the body, boom, now I got him, I can go here. All right, you've seen that, walk through that again with your guy, over and over, go. Body, here. And I can walk in, guess what? Pull the hand back, try to get in yourself on your feet. Now, what I can do, is I'm at high guard now. Temple's covered. 
I can tip right here, touch him here. Go forward, touch him here. Roll under, touch him here. Back to the side, touch him here. Here, high. Here, high. This is a science. Raking Here, high. And we stabbing him. We're not going just loose. I'm a fan of the solo plex. So whenever I throw shots, they are like, it's not. That's how you walk forward. And as he walks back, come here, you throw the shots again. Step in. I'm stabbing to the body. I'm taking the gas out of his tank. That's more effective. Unless you catch that liver shot. But for me, hooks are good when they're to the chin. But I like those solo plex shots. I like to stab to the body. My fighters hear me say that all the time. Whenever you're at a championship level, you're gonna understand why that's so important. Take the gas out of his tank. That's how you walk the guy down. Walk me down. Lock, lock. Go to that door. And go. See the steps? Once you throw here, he, once he's let his ammunition go, you go in the high guard, transition into there. Head off the line, here. Constantly head off the line, whether you go over the top, boom, one, two. One, two, or boom, under. Boom, under. Boom, under. Boom, under. Head is always off the straight line. Let's walk that too. Pop, dip in the high guard, in, go to shut, boom, 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 boom. And that's how you execute. Transitioning from the Philly shell and going into the high guard, pushing your fighter back with missed body shots, breaking them down. Ah, over important. And I'm glad you guys hung around to the very end. Now we're going to kind of show you what do we do in this program? How does it really permeate and how can I take it and utilize it? I just want you to have clarity as to what we are doing over here and our narrative and who we're trying to make sure understands the difference between seeing boxing, going to the gym and doing boxing and truly learning and developing the muscle memory and embracing the process not just following a process we have turned it into a university it's a school it's a system because it's something that's very very detailed and in-depth so what is the Philly Shell program check it out in the history of the Philly Shell the Philly Shell was created to prevent someone from striking you whenever they wanted to you can take a person's offense away from him utilizing the Philly Shell those specific mitts were used to teach the specific speed reaction drills and counterpunch skills, not just defense, boom, boom, blocking with the fours, blocking all four points, peep, peep. and these, the air mitts, I use these to increase the punch power, the endurance, because the Philly Shell is known for being a defensive style which ingrains counterpunching. But as you will see, the Philly Shell is much more than that. When you look at the methods of teaching, a lot of guys needed to improve their defense, needed to improve their counterpunching. But in this series, we teach you how to be an offensive juggernaut on, on top of being defensively responsible. That's what the Philly Shell is going to offer to you. You're going to see methods of walking around. We call it the grunt walk where you see guys like James Tony, who used the Philly Shell, the Crouch, Georgie Benton, Jersey Joe Walcott, all of these fighters. And of course, one of the greatest who have ever done it, Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Bernard Hopkins, masterful in that ring. Always force guys to have the lowest connect percentage against them because of that Philly Shell. Boom, boom, learning the four points. You're gonna learn how to block and work from the inside countering 
utilizing arms, elbows, shoulders, legs. The Philly Shell is a masterful science. You will learn so many things in this teaching. It's a 90 minute education and all of the specific skills, you'll learn how to walk someone down inside of that ring, a la Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor. You'll learn how to switch from shell to high guard, press a guy back. We're teaching you all facets of the shell. Most guys only learn tidbits and they can't truly execute it. I've heard a lot of guys out in social media saying, oh, I try to use the Philly shell and I can't really get it. It doesn't really work for me. Well, facets of the Philly shell is what you've learned. Understanding that now you're gonna be able to have the entire package, how to work this thing and improve your repertoire inside of that boxing ring. This is one of the most prolific teachings in the sport of boxing. My name is Coach Eric A. Bradley and I thank you guys for taking the time out to invest and buddy up with the school of higher learning. I hope you're ready to take your boxing game to the next Watch. level. This is the Philly Shell, delivered to you by Master Boxing. And remember, we, we work for you. And this is where you'll get your master's degree in boxing. I am Zion, AKA Mr. Philly Shell. And if you use my promo code today, Zion, you get 10% off today. And I am Master Boxing. Once again, I thank you guys for taking the time to tune in to It's Time to Box as we continue to inform you. Let us know what you like inside of this program and this video and let us know what it is that you're looking for, how you're going to improve, what is it that you need to do, how could you acquire what's necessary. We got you covered, so make sure you link with us and subscribe on the website so you can really get, we don't just bullet you with you know get this get that we try to make sure you understand we want to hear you so we know what it is that you want all right solving a problem is why we're here and to make sure that we solidify those who came before us all and take the game to the next level that's all i got for right now be sure to check in on the next show as we cover how do you really prep your your meals when you're starting to compete in our fitness program so it's going to be so great going into the summer of this year so until next time continue blessings and godspeed to you from team master boxing and shout out to my brothers in the school of boxing this is where you get your master's degree in boxing so long until next time peace <laughs>